Hey everyone, now we're going to continue our talk on PRVC or pressure regulated volume control, also known as VC plus on the Puritan Bennett ventilator. Let's get started. So PRVC, do you think it's a flow targeted mode or a pressure targeted mode? It's a pressure targeted mode. And what do you think the cycle variable is? It's time. So the question is, how is PRVC different from pressure assist control ventilation? Because in pressure control, the target variable is pressure and the cycle variable is also time. So the key difference is for PRVC, a calculated pressure is delivered based off the volumes achieved by the previous breath. Now I'm sure some of you are a little bit confused by this, but not to worry, in the subsequent slides, I'll be showing images of PRVC and keep on coming back to this statement so with time, the statement will hopefully make a little bit more sense. So here's PRVC. The very first breath ever delivered by PRVC is actually a volume controlled breath. So you can see here that the flow is completely constant, affirming that this is a volume controlled breath. So the volume will increase up until this point, which is our desired volume of 400 milliliters. Once we have reached 400 milliliters, the computer does an automatic inspiratory hold to determine the plateau pressure, essentially to figure out the lung compliance. Every subsequent breath from now on will be a pressure controlled breath. So the pressure of the second breath will be the plateau pressure from the first breath. And as a result, we'll measure the volume achieved at this point. Now at this point here, the computer is figuring out if the volume achieved here is below, at, or above our goal of 400. Now the pressure of the following breath will be determined based on the volume of this previous breath. Going back to our statement, every breath a calculated pressure is delivered based off the volumes of the previous breath. So let's use some numbers in this example. Here is the plateau pressure, and here is our desired volume of 400 milliliters. The very first breath, it achieves 400 milliliters. As a result, an inspiratory hold is done, and the plateau pressure is determined to be 22 centimeters of water. The very next breath and every breath afterwards will be a pressure controlled breath. So first, 22 centimeters of water is delivered in this pressure controlled breath. And as a result, we get 390 milliliters. Now remember, every breath, a calculated pressure is delivered based off the volumes of the previous breath. So you can imagine, since we're below our goal of 400, the very next breath, the pressure will increase to 23. So as a result, we have 404 milliliters. Now you can see every single breath, the pressure may change based off the volume of the previous breath. So as the compliance or resistance changes with time, as will the pressure that is delivered. Here's another quick example. Here is 400 milliliters, as we have indicated here. And here's the pressure. So over here, we have a pressure that's delivered and our volume is a little bit below the target. So the second breath, we have increased the pressure a bit, but the volume went above our goal. So the next breath, the pressure is reduced our volume is still above 400 milliliters. So again, the pressure is gonna be reduced and we are now below our target. And as you can see, with time, the pressure is decreasing. Now it's a little odd to have a mode of ventilation where your target variable is not something that you input down here at all. Now PRVC looks pretty similar to pressure control. As you can see, the waveforms look about the same and flow is your dependent variable. However, the pressure amplitude may vary from breath to breath. So PRVC is an adaptive mode, and the pressure will change with time as compliance changes, and it uses features from pressure assist control ventilation as well as volume assist control ventilation. Like pressure control, it delivers a pressure, but this pressure is calculated. We set the inspiratory time, it is the cycle variable. And flow is our dependent variable. So flow is completely dependent on the patient's demands or the lung characteristics. 
Like volume control, you deliver a set tidal volume with the lowest possible pressure. Now there is a limitation of PRVC that you should be aware of. So let me just put in some numbers here. The tidal volume of 400. Let's say this volume is 400, 400. And the pressure achieved here, let's say 23. Now if a patient is spontaneously breathing or becomes awake and agitated, their volumes will go higher and higher and higher. Now the computer will think, hey, this patient's lung is becoming more compliant because for this amount of pressure I'm delivering, the volume is going very high. So as a result, they will decrease the amount of pressure delivered. So imagine getting less and less pressure from a ventilator. You can imagine the patient's work of breathing will significantly increase, which can lead to hypoxia, fatigue, and even arrest. So you should be aware of the limitations of every single mode of ventilation that you use. Well, that's it for PRVC. Join me in my next video where I will start to introduce dyssynchrony. Thanks.